When it comes to the lower canines, the lower canine, just like the upper canine, this tooth, because it's of its presence in the angle of the mouth, it will uh, actually uh, uh, create a special uh, challenge, let us say, uh, to take a radiograph. Uh, uh, however, the idea is simple. All what you need to do is that you place the sensor in a way so that it will be behind the tooth exactly. But you have to uh, 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 give an inclination. This is if not you're not using the uh, sensor holder. What you need to do is that you place the sensor, if you place it this way close to the film, you will not catch up the apex because the, uh, the, uh, the distance is more than two, well beyond two millimeters. So all what you need to do, just like we said in the upper teeth, take it away and give it an inclination. So this is the position, this is wrong, okay? You will not catch up the image here. Take it out, t push it backwards, push the tongue, and never mention the tongue to the patient. Push it backwards and give it an inclination. So what you have done here actually is that you have a, 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 a reduced the area so that you will c catch up the image. But here you will have a big angle that has been created. Here you have to be a little bit uh, cautious so what you do is first of all you direct your beam perpendicular on the tooth then you direct it perpendicular on the sensor and then you direct it midway so it will be on the on the angle bisector this will minimize or this will hopefully give you the same image without any distortion what you can do though is just like we used it, uh, the cutter roll in the other uh, teeth, you place a cutter roll in between the sensor and the uh, 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 tooth. Give it, making sure that your reamer is extending, uh, extending without any interference from the cutter roll. See what happened here, the angle is reduced. So instead of giving a, a big extreme downwards like we did in the uh, without the cutter roll, this is perpendicular on the tooth, perpendicular on the film, and a minus 15 will be quite enough to produce a good image. So the chances of distortion will be less, one. Second, the chances of irritation to the patient will be less, two. And the third thing is that you will prevent slippage of the uh, uh, of the sensor because of the presence of the uh, uh, slippery uh, cover or disposable cover and the presence of saliva. So please always uh, use the cutter rolls. Uh, uh, if in the lower molars you place it up up to to help in a, a, a pressing uh, downwards, or in the lower canines and as we will see in the central incisors you place it in between uh, between the tooth and the sensor uh, to reduce the angle or the inclination and to prevent slippage, uh, slip, uh, slipping of the um, uh, sensor plus the uh, increasing the support of the, uh, of the uh, sensor uh, uh, against the tooth. When we do a radiograph for the lower central incisors and the lateral incisors, depends on uh, w w w w uh, which tooth you're doing, uh, the sensor is placed just like in the canine, it is placed behind the film. But the problem here is it's extending too much uh, above, so you will never catch up the apex here. Just like we did in the canines, push the sensor backwards, give it an inclination this way, See, if you bring it too close to the film, you will miss the apex. But what you do is that you push it backwards and you incline it. Now, you have reduced this uh, uh, free margin extending of the film above the, uh, of, uh, above the teeth. When it comes to the angulation, perpendicular on the tooth, perpendicular on the film, and midway. And then, this is the normal thing. Now, if you want to reduce the slippage, make it more comfortable for the patient, 
and uh, support the film, and plus the uh, the better image uh, uh, um, uh, dimensions, you're going to place a cutter roll, avoid uh, the uh, reamer, which is extending from the tooth, and uh, place the sensor in this way. Now we have reduced the um, uh, inclination, and we will do the same thing. The, the patient is going to support this way, from the back, and one, two, and this is three, okay? So this is for the lower central incisors. So please, always keep sterilized cutter rolls with you, and uh, 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 try to change them. This will also uh, reduce the uh, saliva which is present in the, uh, in the area, uh, and as we said, it will aid and support, reduce, um, um, the irritation of these uh, rather uh, uh, um, pl plastic rough, uh, it's not rough actually, but it is again a bit of irritation to the patient and it will uh, prevent uh, slipping of the, uh, of the sensor.